Hey there everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can migrate from the Bethesda.net launcher to the Steam launcher. For those who may not know me, I'm your Naked Vault Dweller. I'm a content creator for Bethesda titles. I've turned off monetization for this particular video. I'm not trying to capitalize on you guys needing help and just don't think it's fair. If you feel like subscribing to my channel, yeah, please do. I welcome that. If you'll give the video a thumbs up, that helps out a lot too. And let's go ahead and get into your transition into the Steam launcher. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to want to do is open up a web browser, the Bethesda.net website. Once we reach Bethesda's website, you're going to select login or sign up, which is in the top right hand corner of my screen. That's when a pop-up will appear for you to enter in your username and your password. And I don't know that. So if you don't know your username and password, we're in trouble. Once you've completed signing into your account, in the top right hand corner, you should now see your username listed up there along with a small profile picture. Click that and a submenu will appear. You'll go down to transfer library. Okay. So so there's three different paths that we can take here. Either you've already linked your account and all you need to do is hit the start steam transfer or you haven't linked your account and you need to do that first. Or the third option is your account's already linked, but it's linked to the incorrect account. We're going to try to hit all three of those. If your account is linked to the wrong steam account, you're going to go to linked accounts. When you're on the linked accounts page, it'll show you all the accounts you have linked to your Bethesda.net account. In the top right of the panels that you can select, you should see a garbage can, which would denote that you want to remove or delete that account. When you select the garbage can, you get the disclaimer to unlink your Steam account. It'll go through all the reasons why you do or don't want to do it. You want to go ahead and just select unlink this account. From this point, we're going to go ahead and link up the account that we do want selected with our Bethesda.net account. Now, take in mind that you can only do this once. So when you unassociate your account and you reassociate again with another account, you can't do it again. So making sure we're on the linked accounts page, we're going to click on the plus sign for add a platform, social media, or game account. Now we're going to get a pop-up of all the accounts we can associate with Bethesda.net. We're just going to select Steam. Once we do select Steam, it's going to ask you, are you sure you want to be leaving the Bethesda.net website? You're going to select continue there. This is when it's going to take you on over to Steam. It will ask you to sign into Steam using your Steam credentials, username and password. When you sign in with your username and password for Steam, at that point it will link you to Bethesda.net and then take you back to your Bethesda.net account. Now you'll see in the bottom left hand side where your linked account is located. From here, we're just going to go ahead and hit start Steam transfer. Finally, Bethesda throws up one final confirmation. If you select yes, transfer to this account, it's done. Now the transfer happens in the background. You'll get a little spinning square. After a couple of minutes, you'll get a transfer finish with a big green check mark. Okay, so now that you've transferred your Bethesda.net account to your Steam account, what now? Well, first and foremost, you're going to have to download all your games again through the Steam launcher. But don't worry, the majority of all your saves and config files are still in your My Documents folder, My Games folder. So all that stuff will be referenced. You don't have to change any of that stuff at all. You just, you know, have to re-download everything again. Okay, so you have some questions about maybe some of your purchases that you've done through like the Fallout 76 Atomic Shop. All your purchases move over as well to the Steam Launcher and your Atom, if you've got Atom, will also move over. I also want to note that if you are a Fallout First player, all your Atom that you had with the Bethesda.net Launcher is going to just come all at one time and then when it's time to re-up, you'll have to re-up through the Steam Launcher. And I don't know about you, but for me it's September. For you guys it could be I don't know, tomorrow or it could be December. And Bethesda's put together a Q&A that might answer some of the questions you might have with this transition that I haven't hit on. I'm going to put that link down in the description of this video. So I encourage you to definitely go there if you've got any questions that I wasn't able to answer for you. I'll also try to answer any questions that anybody posts down in the comment section. So if we get 300 or 3000, I'll try to answer everybody individually. And at the very least, it could just be a link going back to the Q&A that Bethesda put out for us. Anyway, don't expect a lot of engagement coming back from this video. And I understand why too and I understand your all's frustration because I'm suffering it too but I'm glad that you're here and hopefully we can get through this together okay so enough with the savvy stuff I'll see you guys later love you and bye